1965, was a small boy in a crusade ground somewhere in the western part of Nigeria. It was not a normal kind of crusade. This crusade was different. They divided the crusade into different departments. There's a department for those seeking for husband. There's a department for those seeking for wives. There's a department for those seeking for business. There's a department for those praying for children. There's a department of deliverance. There's a department of uh, war against witchcraft. There's a department of those seeking for the fruit of the womb. It was different departments. So once you come and they ask, what is your problem? You tell them, they say, go there. Go there, go there. On each of those places, they have stationed men of God there to address those who were coming. I was watching. A woman came to the man who distributes people and said, Pastor, I need children. You need children, it's okay. Uh, where is the meeting of those who are seeking for the fruit of the womb? The pastor said, it's over there. As she was about to turn, the pastor said, don't go there. Go to those seeking for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. She said, no, I didn't come here to look for Holy Spirit. I came to look for a child. She said, I should go for Holy Spirit. She said, go there. And she went to that place. At that Holy Ghost place, the person in charge is the kind of person you can call a mad prophet. It's a long time I've seen those kind of ministers. A mad prophet. And he began to talk to them. And that they should pray now. And if you pray and you fall down, continue praying on the floor. If you pray and you are having a headache, continue to pray until the headache goes. If you pray and you faint, when you faint, wake up and start the prayers again. If you faint, if you pray and you start fighting, continue the fighting. If you pray and your nose is bleeding, continue the bleeding. Is that kind of man of God. And he now called a prayer point. 1965. He called one prayer point 1965. I did not understand the prayer point that time. But as the prayers went on, this woman who wanted fruit of the womb started to pray. All of a sudden she started screaming. She started screaming. She started screaming. And she fell into labor. Right there in the full glare of all of us, she delivered a snail. A huge snail. Next month she got pregnant. Twins. But that prayer point did not leave my head since that time. So I was wondering, why, why did this man call this prayer? And look at what the prayer has done. Until one day, I was reading through the Bible. And I got to the book of Luke. Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1. An angel had gone to Mary. And the angel told Mary, Behold, thou shalt conceive. You shall have a great child. And from verse, when the angel finished talking to Mary about the qualities of the baby, look at verse 34 of Luke chapter 1, verse 34. Luke 1, 34. We're going, I'm just preparing you for these prayers because it's one of the most important prayers we need to pray here today. And it's a very serious matter. Immediately the process of that prayer starts. All kinds of things will begin to happen. Those who are having internal decay and they are feeling weak inside, the witness will jump out. Amen. Those that have been rejected all over the place, <laughs> when you pray this prayer, they'll be looking for you Amen. all over the place. All the organs that have been taken to the coven, all of a sudden they shall receive command and they will jump out of the covens. In Luke chapter 1, verse 34, the angel had given the news to Mary that Mary was going to have a baby. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall these things be? Seeing I know not a man. I am a virgin. I haven't slept with anybody before. And you say, I'm going to get pregnant. I'm going to have a great child. And the angel, listen to the answer of that angel. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. And the power of the eyes shall overshadow thee. 
the lady was asking, this thing is impossible. How can it happen? How can somebody without one dollar become a billionaire? How can somebody that they say the womb has been removed so suddenly begins to have twins? How can somebody that they say is a failure, now it's the top of the class, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee and the power of the eyes shall overshadow thee. That is the key. That is the answer. This, that it was then I came across the prayer point the man called in 1965 that made that woman to deliver his name and made her a mother. And what is that prayer point? Is the prayer point we are going to pray now. You better pray from the bottom of your heart. Rise to your feet now. This is a prayer quake program. It's not the normal crusade kind of program. A prayer quake program to connect heaven and to, and to receive an anointing that was cut through through this year. That is why you are here. All eyes closed. With a voice that roars like fire and like thunder. Can you shout, Holy Ghost! Overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. 